What's up, guys? So the contractor of my house just told me that uh, there's stuff buried in the yard, guys. So you know what we got to do. Let's go. Psych, not this kind of video. This is the whole reason behind this video, guys. And this one right here, this one really bothers me, man. So yesterday I'm scrolling through Facebook, man, and I see uh, a post from some dude from Russia. I don't know, Boris Putin, or I don't know. You know what? He's got a weird name. It's like ZZRXZRWWRXY. Zizurixurix. I don't know what his name is, but he's from Russia. Um, I see him posting these Delta Plastic bodies, indestructible bodies. He's the one who makes the indestructible bodies, I guess, or some of the indestructible bodies. And uh, I see Ben, the owner of Delta Plastics, in there. And Ben's talking. There's like some comments in there, and everybody's, great job, man. This is awesome. Well, before that, I see Ben's comment, bro, what's going on? You stole this from us. This is our design. You stole it from us. What's going on? And everybody behind Ben's, oh, great job. Awesome. I think this is cool, man. I can't wait to get one. You guys don't understand, man. I hit up Ben afterwards and I'm like, hey, Ben, what's up, man? Are those your bodies? You know, he just got a hold of them before anybody else or what's going on? No, you know what? He wanted to be a distributor. I said okay to it. And uh, he took a bunch of our bodies and obviously he copied them. The sad part is, Ben is such a nice guy. He didn't want to like totally go at the dude. I would have lost my shit, man. I would have went after him with everything. Uh, Ben's just such a cool dude. Look, you guys, if you're not on Facebook, maybe you don't see it. This dude gives away a body like once a month. Every month, every other month, he gives away a body. All you got to do is like, post it, that's it. And he'll give away a body. When I had the 3S challenge. Ben, hey, man, I'd like to give away a body for the uh, um, 3S challenge, man. You know, can you give me a discount on it or something or you want? Don't worry about it, Jason. What do you want? What do you need? Let me know. I'll make it happen. That easy. The dude would give you a shirt off his back. Super cool dude, man. He's out there for the hobby. He likes the hobby. The sad part is one of the bodies this dude copied is the GT1 body. That was a year in the making, guys. A year getting that form going through airflow figuring and everything out these bodies aren't just go to the shop and pop one out of the machine you got to make a, a mold for it and form it to the mold the molds a pain in the ass and it's expensive I know I was gonna make bodies back in the day I wanted to do the iPen emo warrior body without all the crap on it without the little rivets here and stuff like that and I wanted it in a thicker body Bodies are expensive to get the mold. The bodies themselves aren't bad afterwards, but the mold is ridiculously expensive. Ben sounded, I don't want to say heartbroken, frustrated. He was frustrated. He was upset that this happened. Someone that's taking care of the hobby. I don't care if you're Team Flow Pack, Ripple Killer, Kill Mode, Beast Mode. It don't matter. Castle, Teakin, it don't matter. You shouldn't support that company, period. This dude, Ben's been nothing but good to us. You know what happens if Ben shuts down because he's just over it? He don't want to get copied no more. We're screwed. We're forced to wait months to get like graphil bodies, which we all know are crap. Thin as hell. Or we get them for Delta Plastic UK if they ship over here. Doubt they will. Or if Ben says, you know what, I need to recoup some of that money now that this guy's selling my bodies, I got to raise the prices. Now all of us are going to hurt. Don't support that dude, man, Boris. Don't support that. I know what it's like to get ripped off for products. It's happening right now. It sucks, especially from people overseas. It's not easy to go serve someone paperwork when they're in the UK or Europe or Africa or wherever they're from, man. Germany, I don't care. Japan, China, it sucks. Saga Custom RC, the most stolen man in RC. He's had more products stolen from him that I can count. It's ridiculous. And you wonder why, you know, Saga don't come up with, dude, the guy's got so much potential. We could have so much better products out there. So much. But why is he going to do it? So he can make someone else a bunch of money? 
Back in the day, when I first started this speedrun stuff, that dude Boris would have been eaten alive on Facebook. Now everybody, oh, they were all in the comments. Great job, buddy. Can't wait to get one, buddy. No one thought about Ben. Not one person went in there and said, damn, Ben, I feel for you, man. Let's shut this dude down. So I, when I keep saying on Facebook and stuff, the RC games change, that's how it's changed. Everybody just wants the easy way, man. And it's not right. The easy way isn't always the best way, guys. I'm telling you right now, find a problem, come up with a solution, you'll sell a product. Instead of copying everybody else's stuff, man. I, I don't get it. Does no one nowadays, like, from like 19... 80 and above have no imagination don't know how to think on your own because i see some of these cards you guys build they're outrageous badass cars and i know it's not everybody out there i'm just frustrated right now i'm venting because someone that really has cared about the hobby just got stepped on and dude's so cool about it i could tell he's frustrated i could tell he's beat up about it but he's just too nice and nice guys, you know, what do they say? They finish last. Because he don't want to jump down that guy's ass. I mean, honestly, there's really nothing he can do. The dude's in Russia. Go serve him paperwork in Russia. Go serve someone paperwork in the UK. It's hard. It's not easy. Trust me, guys. I'm going through it right now. I beg you, everybody part of the Flow family, the Flow Nation, do not support that. Come together. Don't support that. Everybody else in the hobby, don't support that, man. Support Ben, Delta Plastics, support Saga. Don't go buying all these copycat products, man. You think I want to put up, man, I've had a product that I made six, six, seven months ago, maybe eight, eight months ago. I sent a couple videos out to certain people that are part of the team and they can't wait for this product to come out. It's going to literally change drag racing as we know it. Guarantee you, this is no joke. It is an absolute game changer. This ain't no servo slower. This isn't no no nothing, dude. No throttle slower, whatever you want to call it. This isn't no crap. This is a real product that really works, but I don't want to put it out there until I'm 100% protected. I'm not going to go with a provisional patent this time. I'm going for actual patent. Because if I get screwed, I'm taking you down with me if you copy me. Simple as that. Provisional is a lot harder, which I have. It's a lot harder. And then it's hard to go after these guys that they're not really worth anything. What are you going to do? Put a lien on their house, a lien on their car. You know, you'll never see money out of them. So guys, look, stand up for Ben, stand up for Delta Plastics. Don't buy generic crap. Buy the real deal and keep, keep producing what we have here. Everything we have in the United States, we could have badass stuff. Saga could make some of the sickest stuff out there. He already does. His gears are top notch. There's already people out there trying to copy those. His fifth scale adapters already were copied. Everything that he's made, copied, copied, copied. He has no urge to go make anything new. Because he's always getting copied. And if Delta Plastic goes away, we're in trouble in the speed world, guys. The drag world, too. Delta Plastic raises their prices because of it. We're in trouble. Look what happened when BSR got taken over prices of tires went up overnight there's nothing we can do about it we can all say we're not going to buy them well guess what there's 50 other people that are in the dirt racing or, or uh, dirt oval that'll buy them they don't care they don't care castle creations i'm sure that cost them millions when they got ripped off they had a chinese company copying their motors probably cost that company millions of dollars crazy i just i'm so baffled this how someone could lie to someone like ben's face yeah i want to be a distributor here in russia russia uh, i want to sell your bodies for potatoes and vodka and then turns around and makes some unbreakable bodies and you know what i've been trying to be nice i've been trying to be laid back i haven't really gone at nobody but th this bothers me man this really does bother me. And it bothers me that no one came to his defense. And, and you know what? Benefit of the doubt, no one saw it. And I hope that's what it is. 
But if you're going to see this video, spread it around to everybody you know. I don't care if you love me or hate me. It's not about me. It's about Delta Plastic. It's about Ben. It's about Saga. It's about these other companies. I got some other stuff I want to be putting together, guys. Some other content. Um, even content's being stolen, man. You make a video, a hundred mile per hour or a hundred dollar car. Next, you know, someone's got a hundred dollar car in their video. You talk about, you know, tug of war with different stuff. Someone's got that in their video. It's like, it's crazy. Everybody is just copying. They have no imagination. It's so easy to come up with stuff. I don't know. I, I guess it's just me. Who knows? I, I don't know. I know there's a lot of people in this hobby that I see every day making custom stuff for their cars. Really smart people. They're not selling anything. It's the dopes, the ducks, the quacks, the ones that never make anything and all they want to do is easy life. They want your gearing. They want to know how you're going fast and if you don't do it, you're an asshole. That's how this game's changed. It's easy to give away gearing once it was given to you. If I could give you a brand new car right now, and I tell you a year from now, I want you to give that car away, and I'll give you a brand new car, you'll do it in a heartbeat. But if you go work for a year to buy that car, and I tell you to give it away, what are you going to tell me? It's easy when someone gives you gearing. You give it away real easy. But when you have to work for it, like a lot of us did, you don't want to give it away. I don't want to see this hobby game change. We need to fight for people like Delta Plastic and Saga Custom RC. Guys, I'm out. Peace.